lads, it's time to go to a Muslimic trip. But anyway, guys, so basically I am going to this sort of Islamic summer camp and basically what I'm doing is I just need to get my suitcase nice and ready and my backpack. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the summer camp is going to start on Friday. Today's Wednesday, but I'm a little bit free. So I was like, you know what, let me just pack everything nice and early so that I don't have to do any of that last minute packing. Plus tomorrow I got work for like 13 hours so i'm gonna be way too busy and i want to come back home at night get a little bit of sleep and then obviously the next morning early in the morning just gotta get up and ready to go to the thing but anyway let me get packing <laughs> Alright, so I usually uh, overpack uh, just simply because I don't know, I've always just like overpack. So just so that when I get to the place, I can never be like, oh, I wish I got this and that. So I got like way too many outfits. I just stuck everything in. Hopefully, I can get some pictures, some videos, whatnot, right? And then obviously, for my camera gear, lighting, and camera and crap, and then all of that, I'm gonna get my backpack. I'm just gonna put everything in there, but that's just gonna be more like the night before, um, just quickly so that basically I've got like the battery and everything charged up for the camera. But other than that, yeah, it's uh, I'm pretty much done packing, and I will see you on the day, all right, guys? So, currently on my way, I've got my stuff, my little backpack, and my little suitcase and I'm making my way to the masjid to meet up with the guys and then yeah we're basically gonna have like a little brief meeting it's still like seven o'clock in the morning and then we're probably gonna make ways around like eight o'clock eight thirty you know what if these guys are late we might even go at like nine o'clock or something but yeah I'll probably catch you when I get there <laughs> صلى عليك الله ما غيث هما أو قسهول وبالجبال وبالقرى Easy, come on lad. Alright, so we're currently in the little uh, campus sort of place. Um, just gonna get some content and chill. The brothers over there just like chilling and whatnot, like it's like wrestling happening, all sorts of stuff basically happening. So yeah, and then we're gonna have to pray because today's Friday, we're gonna have to pray the Juma and prayer as well for uh, around like probably like half an hour. So we're gonna have to get ready for that as well. Now honestly, the first thing I noticed right from the beginning is the brotherhood in this camp. There were so many amazing brothers and we were all starting to get to know each other. And Allah Azza wa Jal mentions this in the Quran where he says, that indeed the believers are but one brotherhood. And this is the first benefit that we were starting to take from this camp. Bro, I'm vlogging, man. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging, man. Fire everything up. You gotta go there. Where? Fire everything. Then I'm going to football pitch. Ah, cool. cool, cool, cool. Can you make your way? On my way right now. Going down the stairs and um, yeah, we're basically gonna do a bit of football, I guess. I don't really know. Not really interested in that, but just making ways. Um, hopefully, everything like they've set up everything you can do. Spend some time with the brothers, maybe get a few content here and there and that's pretty much it we played some tag rugby and some football as well i mean i'm not the biggest fan of these sports to be fair but again the brotherhood was just too too good and a lot of jokes were cracked you could see brothers smiling and laughing left right center we also got to burn a bit of calories after lunch so you know it's not that bad i guess again the entire camp we just met new people all of the time like the entire time since there were about 200 people there and also we got to do a lot of activities Alright, so back in my room, well actually, not my room, I need to find my room, but I need to do wudu to go and pray the Asr prayer, and then we're going to have like an early dinner, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I couldn't get as much content, because we just played rugby, football, all this other like, 
sort of like activities so you know the shots are like all over the place like some of them are like shaky shaky like that so yeah i need to get changed nice and set with the tube on now i just need to go and uh yeah just fix on my hair a little bit yeah i just gotta go get ready to go to the house of prayer and then have dinner So basically we're going to pray the house of prayer. We just had a bit of a early dinner, but you know what, the lighting is that way, so probably it's better. But basically, um, yeah, he, the dinner wasn't the best, but alhamdulillah, you know what I mean? Like, we just move in it. But other than that, we're gonna have to go and pray, a couple of Islamic talks, a bit of free time. We still need to like set up our rooms and all of that stuff. But yeah, after that, hopefully, we can get some more content. Allah, Allah, Allah. I'm gonna open it up, yeah? One little bed for my brother Ahmed. Nice little cupboard, no one's here. Uh, it's, it's a pretty decent, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a dead view, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best. But then, it's my bed right here, with my suitcase, which I need to unpack and all of that. And then look at the toilets, guys. Woo, nice little shower. Nice little place to hang your stuff. Nice little, bro, everything is pretty uh, nice and clean, so that's how it's looking. And I got my, little wardrobe here as well and a bit of coffee you know you can make your own coffee early in the morning and you know what i'm taking this room and i'm gonna have to quickly like unpack stuff and i'll catch you guys in a bit okay so just got myself changed up basically and uh maybe you can see me of the reflection there but the view is not the best but right now literally we just got ready and we're gonna have to go and pray the mother prayer in about 10 minutes so i'm gonna make ways and go there so that we can catch the Jamaa and uh, after that we'll probably go a couple of Islamic talks here and there and I'll update you in a bit For the next two hours we do a couple of Islamic workshops where we have to make short Islamic dramas and present them in front of everyone basically our group was probably one of the best and i'm not even like you know exaggerating yeah but yeah other than that we were just chilling and you know again just chilling with the brothers and stuff like that <laughs> Yo, the lighting is uh, it's pretty bad. But yeah, basically, um, we're finished with everything. We prayed, we got the Islamic talk. It's like 11 30 ish or something. And yeah, I'm probably gonna have to head. Maybe chill with some of the guys. Um, yo, I'm not gonna lie, the lighting is bad, man. You can barely see me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We finished off with the day, like officially. And we're probably gonna have to go sleep sometime soon. So I'm just probably gonna go get changed then, then catch you guys in a bit. Lads, we're currently in our little bed clothes. But to be fair, I'm probably gonna be chilling for the next one hour in it. And uh, yeah, just, just chill. It's like 12. If you know me, I always go sleep after I shower, but obviously they were with the boys, so you know, I have to sleep a little bit later. Come, get back. 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 Come, get all right lads so basically we have to get up for the federal prayer so for all of the non-muslimic guys out there make sure you wake up for the federal prayer so it's kind of like about four o'clock but you know just got up a bit earlier before the prayer just so that we can get you know like refreshing but we're probably going to make way to like 10 15 minutes and prayer is probably going to be like probably like half an hour realistically and then the sun is going to start to rise basically so yeah, just gonna have to wake up all of the other brothers up right now.
وما خلقنا السماء والأرض وما بينهما باطلا ذلك ظن نجعل الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات كالمفسدين في الأرض أم نجعل المتقين كالفجار after Fajr, we spent the next two hours just chilling with the roommates. To be honest, we had some very, very deep conversations, some Islamic reminders as well, and just got to know the brothers even more. Honestly, it was really, really good. And moments like this make you learn so much and how everyone on the face of this earth has their own problems and battles that they're facing in life. And sometimes one little good act can make a massive difference in people's lives. So an honest reminder to myself and you know uh, everyone that's watching this is to welcome everyone around us and to make them feel like they're at home and we learned this from the Prophet السلام, and he had the best of characters <laughs> سابق فيه مهاجر كان يا عثمان ذو خرق كل ضائقة يبادر. The prophets are still sleeping after Fajr, man. Hey, wake up for nothing. Um, it's gonna have to wake them up a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so basically for the past almost two hours, we're just cracking bats, and now it's like seven o'clock. So I'm gonna have to go to my room, get changed, and then I'm gonna go have a little bit of breakfast. So today was the main day. In other words, most of the activities were taking place today. We started off with some trampolining. Well, it's basically called aero ball, where you jump on a trampoline and then try to score as many points as possible. And you basically use this couple of foam balls, really. It was a good team game, by the way. It was two on two. And we were so, so tired since barely any of us got any sleep last night. But it was a good activity to kind of get started early in the morning. And, you know, get us a little bit pumped and, you know, energized as well. We also did some obstacle course in which I literally had to show off my little parkour skills but nonetheless we still did win that and other than that we were just sitting down and you know um, just having conversations with different people as well there were so many other activities but more than the activities I think what people enjoyed the most is the fact that we were in a group and in a team and we were you know just cracking a huge amount of jokes just you know laughing and you know the, the vibes was there and you know alhamdulillah it was halal bands at least so you know you here and there it's not bad i guess Later on, we did have some archery sessions. I've done archery before multiple times anyway, but you know, it was pretty fun to just try it out after all this long time. And we also know that archery is actually one of the sports from the Sunnah of the Prophet salam. So again, uh, it was the first time for archery for many of the brothers and it looked like a lot of people enjoyed it. I got a couple of uh, points there as well, not the best at archery, but you know, we got a couple of shots, a couple of, and uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And we did have a couple of team competitions as well and it wasn't really bad and overall is it, it was good and it was just you know we were just vibing the entire time
I feel like sleeping, man. I've got two hours get that man. Cushion. All right, lads, I'm back in my crib, and right now I just need to get changed again for the 20th time and then probably head out and do some more activities. To be fair, it's just been hectic. Like, we've just been like chilling, like cracking bands and chilling more. Yeah, we just didn't get enough sleep last night as well because we're just like, you know, chilling all day long. But yeah, I don't really know what activities we're going to do next, couple of activities and all of that couple of Islamic talks, all of that stuff is going to happen and I'm going to try to get as much content and footage as possible and for now, that's pretty much it No, I'm going to have to take my camera You know what, I'll take it out It doesn't come the way I'm going to sleep and then get my so for the next few hours we just do a bit of laser tag didn't really get any clips since he was outdoors and i wanted to enjoy the game took a few football shots as well we just chilled for the next few hours really i was a bit tired by now and just focused on reviewing the footage that i took and planning on how i was actually going to edit the vlog other than that we were just praying all of our prayers in between in congregation and here and there we used to just go back to our rooms to get changed and get other stuff or when going to the toilet and you know doing wudu and before you know it um, it was basically almost dinner time but before that literally the entire time was what we call free time so you could do any activity that you want and we played a little bit of basketball as well so we had so many people in the camp so different people were going and doing different activities from Jacob's ladder to uh, archery to everyone was just taking in turns and doing their own stuff really basically but other than that as soon as it hit six o'clock it was dinner time and the food was served. Alright, so quickly I will update. So basically today is day number two of the summer camp and basically that just means that it's the main day because like we do all of those activities and stuff like that. So the day has not come to an end really because you know we're we'll probably going to stay awake all night again but what it is is that we've done the main activities that we have to do and on top of that we've got like Right now we just finished eating dinner, so we're gonna pray Maghrib. Probably Islamic talk, a couple of campfires, and a couple of other stuff in general. And after that is pretty much, I think it's like free time for the entire night to just like chill. So basically, the camp day has already kind of come to an end. If that makes sense. And obviously tomorrow morning, inshallah, we're gonna do a couple of stuff and then basically head back, and that's a wrap. Now what I'm about to show you right now guys is the highlight of the entire summer camp. We all gathered around the fire that you can see right now and we had a late night talk and this was after Maghrib so from Maghrib to Aisha and wallahi guys honestly this talk was so so good like wallahi you could hear like you could literally hear the brothers crying so much well and they were like literally tearing up while listening to the talk it was a talk on jahannam and uh, kind of like the hair after in general and you could see the fire there and the fire was very very hot like literally it was so good that i don't think the camera does it any justice so i feel like the experience was just so unique and you know what i, I can't really describe it in words honestly but the brothers were crying, like crying, crying, subhanAllah. And you know what? May Allah bless all of the brothers and our gathering. And may Allah keep us united. I mean. They said, yo, you know what? I don't think he made it, you know? I don't think he made it to Jannah. Then the door's going to be open. And the people, they will look into the fire. They will look into the fire and then they will see their friends. And they will say to him, Ma salaka kun fi saqar. After praying the Asha prayer, we have a late night snack with pizzas and drinks and just, you know, again, just chilling, relaxing uh, for the next couple of sort of half an hour, really. And after that, we decide to head to our rooms. We're happy, bro. Nah, it's not. It's going to be fun. No, he's going to be like, come on, boy. Bro, he's going to be happy. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> No, 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 bro. No, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. 
came up with SK. You came up with SK. You brought it up. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I, I brought it up because I told Amr that, oh, you know, he was like, oh, this brother farts best. And I was like, I was like, no. You need a night deal. You need a night copyright his farts. Silent killer, bro. I think that there's about five more people. Silent but dead killer, man. Oh? Yeah, I know there's five people who are waiting to come. You know the ones that come in and come out. Come on. Who though? Who? I'm not. Five just waffling, bro. Just waffling, man. Wait, wait, wait. How many mafias? Two mafias. Five, and then you're the moderator. Who is man? So wait. Two mafias. Inspector. Go higher, go higher, bro. Go higher. Do you do the season? Oh. Oh. I can't. I don't need Come to. Come after Torah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, all right. This is me. All right, go, go for ten seconds. Go higher, bro. You know what? He's the colors guy. Telling me you're the Jesus. This time, this time, watch this, yeah. I can do a 360. Okay, let's see. 360. Oh, no. Oi, 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 oi. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. We cracked way too many jokes, man. And right now. We just need to go sleep. We've got about two hours until Fajr. We're just gonna get refreshed up and then go to pray, the Fajr prayer, and then from then onwards, we're just going. From then onwards, from then onwards, we're just going to go and just probably chill. So yeah, I need to quickly get some sleep. I'm back in the room. Uh, not gonna lie, I didn't sleep the most amount of time. It was like, two hours or something but that sleep was actually really really good not gonna lie so right now i'm feeling a bit more energized and hopefully um just woke up did a little bit of wudu refreshing myself up to go and pray the federal prayer and then after that we're probably gonna stay awake and just chill and obviously we just gotta start to pack as well because my stuff is looking like a mess so i'm gonna have to start to pack everything down and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So today's more like a sort of preparation, not preparation, it's more like, yeah, packing day. So you just chill and a couple of activities here and there. But other than that, because it's the last day today, it's the third day of the actual program. So we're gonna have to start to, you know, uh, move out of our actual rooms and take back the coach and then head back again. البس الأخلاق تاجا من تقاك ومن حيائك يهطل المعروف جودا من يديك ومن سخائك فزت بالنورين فضلا أي سر في ضيائك يا صحابيا جليلا تستحي منك الملائك رافد الإسلام نورك سابق فيه مهاجر after the Fajr prayer, we had a small Quran halaka just between our roommates and everything. We did Surah Mulk and Surah Luqman as well. We went over the meanings and some of the benefits of them while also reflecting upon some of the verses. And this halaka continued for like a few hours. So it was basically like from 5 o'clock until at 7.30 and then we went out for breakfast. <laughs> Alright, so right now we're basically heading off. I just want to get changed and we're gonna go. Is this floor number two? Uh, we're going up, right? Is this floor, yeah? So we're basically going to meet up with a uh, couple of guys, but I'm telling you, we got some 
Yesterday we had like 60 men in like one room. Crazy bro, like literally we're going to that room and it's there. It's some dodgy, dodgy room guys. So I'm gonna have to go and get the brothers. Because after Fudger, they some of them want to back to sleep. So we're gonna go have to wake them up and then take them up with us and uh, have breakfast right now because uh, feeling a bit hungry, you know what I mean? So which way is it? That way? Alright lads, it's time to do the packing before we actually move out, so yeah, let's just quickly do it. So, I don't even know why I got my butterfly knife, but I got, don't worry, this is a trainer by the way, so it's it, it's not really sharp. Um, so, I got the butterfly knife and the Rubik's Cubes just so that I could get a couple of b-rolls and here and there get a couple of clips. But I finished packing, everything's here, nice, done and ready. And I'm not gonna lie, it's still like 8 o'clock in the morning and we're leaving like in the evening. So by the time we get home and everything, it's probably gonna be like Maghrib time, it's gonna be like night time. So I just packed early just to make sure that, you know, I can go and enjoy more time with the brothers and, you know, crack a bit of bands. So like, look at this view, man. Jeez. Stop, 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 that stop, was perfect stop. timing, bro. Oh my god. What's going on, guys? Like, what's going on? Yo, some of you, man, mad. Come on, SK, tell them what do they need to do, bro? I subscribe to Avatar, man. Easy. All right, just pack the stuff up. So, right now, I'm just gonna be heading out. And we're just going to leave our stuff somewhere inside the coach before we like, you know, leave and you know, make our ways to the mischief back in London. So that's what's going to happen right now. Meanwhile, we're probably gonna have some sort of Islamic talk or something. Not exactly sure, but I'm gonna have to see how that goes. So for the last day, we'll listen to a couple of Islamic talks on Jannah and other topics as well. We're also having some nice ice cream since the weather looked pretty good, I guess. And the talks were good, alhamdulillah. We had our lunch and then it was just free time for the rest of the day, literally. And we were all packed up anyway, so that way everything was basically out of our way. And all we had was the last few hours together where we were just vibing, chilling, relaxing, and again, making the most out of the time. And I met this guy who could actually do some sick butterfly knife tricks and i had no clue and he was way 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 better than me and yeah here is a clip of me doing the one and only trick that i basically know on the butterfly knife really later on we had a very nice barbecue the food was really really good i'm not even gonna lie and we spent the next hour or so i guess just doing like a quran challenge and you know everyone's got their own little groups and we were testing our knowledge and alhamdulillah it was pretty good pretty beneficial alhamdulillah and it was really fun as well and lastly we had basically like a water fight okay now i wasn't involved in any of this i don't i don't really want to do any of this water fight thing yeah i didn't want to get wet to be fair but these problems were going 
going no, 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 crazy. No, no, no. Like we were, some of us were just chilling in the sides, and a lot of these brothers were like going crazy. And they even got some dirty water out of the lake, and you know that little lake that we were chilling in. Not even a lake; it's just, it's just like a pond. But yeah, these guys were going crazy, nonetheless. No, no, not me, brother. Oh. Not with this, not with this, guys. No, no, I know you're just too old. Too old. Wait, I can't do if that. If you want, you can pick my next suspect. No, but no. You can pick my next I don't want. All right, time to go, lads, and put everything back. Inna, Ila, Rabbina, Lamun Falibun. Rafid al Islam inawruk sabitun. مهاجر كان يا عثمان ذو خرق كل ضائقة يبادر ورسول الله يدعو لك يهديك البشائر أترى كم شع نورا وسرورا من عطاء all right, my brother, Jalal. Come on, bro. I'm going to have to see you in a bit. Yo, lads, I'm going to have to end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Links will be down there in the description below. All of my socials, all of that stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. And my voice is gone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.